Alright guys, how you doing? It's Thursday, August 26, 2021. I hope you're having an excellent Thursday. I want to thank you guys once again for joining me for another metallic episode of Music of Destruction. Bringing you guys the very best in metal related content right here on YouTube on one of the only metal channels you're ever going to need and one of the hardest working. If you missed anything in the past week, click the eye in the upper right corner. should be popping up. Everything you need is up there, man. Go check out all of my latest content. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want me to review anything, make those suggestions in the comments section below. Slam, Deathcore, Metalcore, and Modern Tech Test are not allowed. Remember, subscribe, turn on that bell so you don't miss anything. You're looking at a hardest, one of the hardest working metal channels on YouTube, and no one's going to quite give it to you as honest as I do. It's that fucking simple. Welcome to Top 15 Thursdays. Yes, folks, I'm back with this series. Thank you for your patience, as these are the most time-consuming videos to make out of all the different series that I do here on the channel. So tonight, we're going to Austria for my Top 15 Austrian Metal Bands. I'm really excited for this one. After two weeks of digging and knowing of some bands in Austria, but also discovering more over the past couple of months, I did two weeks of planning for this one, and it's been a pleasure to learn and discover more bands so I can put together a list of bands here that I think you guys should check out and are my personal top 15. Now, if they're not your personal top 15, that's fine. Don't leave stupid comments in my comment section asking why certain bands weren't featured. I'm really getting tired of that. I just fucking delete those comments when people act stupid like that. Anyway, coming in at number 15, Demolition with Existence, released in 2014 on Twilight Records. New wave of thrash metal. Very aggressive and hateful music here. It's got some amazing riff structuring, bass, drum, uh, and vocal work. It's got a very powerful, emotional atmosphere, very convicted and extreme in terms of its subject matter and things of that nature. But Demolition is a legendary new wave of thrash metal band. And I really appreciate this album for everything it gets right. It has that old school vein, but also a flair of modernity. A little bit of a raw production for this one, but yeah, number 15, Demolition Existence. Make sure you check it out. Coming in at number 14, Stigma 4 with The Court of Eternity, released in 1998 on Noise Records. Epic power metal that reminds me of Dio, 100%, and a little bit of Sabotage, but you got Dio and Sabotage as the main influence here. Um, an amazing band. This is a very atmospheric, epic power metal band that will make you feel good and feel like you're being transported back to ancient times on ancient battlefields. This is an incredible fucking release with some of the most epic guitar leads I've ever heard on an album and one of the best, number 14, Stigma 4, The Court of Eternity. Coming in at number 13, Mastic Scum with Zero, released in 1999 on Noise at Variations Records. This is brutal death metal grindcore and crossover. What more could you ask for? You got so many hardcore punk thrash crossover elements, but also that brutal death grindcore hate that goes into making an awesome grindcore album. Mastic Scum are legends in their own right. Part of that second wave of grindcore. And coming out of Austria, nobody expected these guys to do well. They do. I have uh, heard a lot about Mastic Scum. I do enjoy this album a lot. And it's one of their best. And if you love Brutal Death Grindcore with some crossover hardcore punk, what the fuck else would you need from this? This is an awesome album. Mastic Scum Zero gets number 13. Coming in at number 12, Raventhorn with Malice in Wonderland, released in 1998 on Avant Garde Music. Goth black metal that doesn't fall into the trappings of Demo Borgir or Cradle of Filth. These guys have a, their own unique atmosphere and unique take on these two genres. There's some amazing atmospheric textures, dissonance, hypnotic, uh, hypnotic guitar patterns going on here, and an amazing emotional complexity that begs to be heard. Uh, this is extremely atmospheric. Malice in Wonderland is a very dark, sorrowful album, so make sure you check it out. Number 12, Raisin Thorn, Malice in Wonderland. Coming in at number 11, Mortal Strike with For the Loud and the Aggressive. Released in 2014 independently on new... Uh, in 2014 independently, this is the new wave of thrash metal once again. In the vein of Havoc and Power Trip and bands like Toxic Holocaust. You've got all those ingredients here, but with their own unique take, of course, you've got that Austrian sound coming in. Very politically charged, real-world issues themed thrash metal here. It's absolutely awesome. I love how complex this album gets. I love how diverse it is and aggressive and raw and powerful and convicted it is. And it's one of the best in the new wave of thrash metal to come out of Austria. And they've got their own unique style. Yes, they have influences from all kinds of thrash bands, but you can certainly tell this is a unique band. 
Number 11, Mortal Strike for the Loud and the Aggressive. Coming in at number 10, and that's the band playing in the background right now, Death Storm, Blood Beneath the Crypts, released in 2016 on High Roller Records. This is like really dark-themed thrash metal. There is a little bit of death metal influence here, I would say, but not enough to make them a death thrash band. But yeah, very sonically aggressive, intense, dark, and fucking violent uh, thrash metal here with a lot of emotional conviction and valid validity, and I really love all of the riff structuring on your drums and bass work. Prolific songwriting from these guys. Amazing album, number 10, Death Storm, Blood Beneath Crips. Coming in at number 9, Tulsa Doom, Storms of the Netherworld, released in 2015 on Nihilistic Empire Records. Blackened heavy thrash metal. I mean, for a band to have blackened heavy metal, this is some of the most unique traditional heavy metal with that thrash metal thrown in. I guess you'd say speed metal underneath it all because this is all about epic battles man and ancient times atmospherically it's one of the most intense in this genre and i don't know of many black and heavy metal bands with that thrash or speed metal underneath but this band does it right and it's so fucking awesome make sure you check out tulsa doom's storms of the netherworld coming in at number eight night forest with winter night released in 2011 on dear new productions ambient black metal hopeless cold ice coal icy blizzarding fucking black metal with tons of ambience hopeless dark void filled isolated solitary you guys know what it is if you listen to one man black metal you know how hopeless and oppressive this music can be this is a claustrophobic album as well with a lot of emotional intensity but it's quite minimal which is what i want my black metal number eight night forest with winter night coming in at number seven insanity alert with 666 pack Released in 2019 on Season of Mist Records, amazing new crossover thrash metal. This has got some amazing lyricism, but also has a more upbeat approach. It's a little bit of a party record, but still serious enough to be considered a great thrash metal classic. Great riffing, quite intense, quite aggressive and raw and powerful, but also has that party feeling to it of just getting drunk with your bros and pounding beers. Great album. I mean, it's crossover, man. This is such an emerging genre now and i really love the bands that are bringing it back amazing album insanity alert 666 pack coming in at number six kringa feast upon the gleam released in 2019 on terra tour possessions records this is a cult black metal mystical dark very demonic sounding with like evil atmosphere hanging over it man some of the most complexly uh not complex technically riff wise but very emotionally complex very compelling and extremely dark and ominous this album is something you guys need to hear very difficult to articulate very unique listening experience make sure you check out kringa feast upon the gleam gets number six coming in at number five chaos rain was spreading death released in 2010 on remissions records this is you the early 90s death metal meets uh swedish death metal of the 90s without that melodic garbage this is approaching osdm in a lot of ways classic stuff going on here emotional hateful aggressive dark and fucking powerful and brutal but also has enough groove to keep you from getting bored it's not monotonous chaos reigns an awesome band and i really recommend spreading death gets number five coming in at number four death temple dominion of the night released in 2015 on storm surge records this is black death metal war metal if you prefer very chaotic evil sinister dark aggressive powerful and fucking emotionally compelling stuff bent on complete chaos and fucking destruction right along the lines of, of bands like blasphemy arch goat bestial warlust proclamation melgoth of canada this is right in there with bands like that this is one of the most evil sounding records i've ever heard number four death temple dominion of the night coming in at number three molten chains into the am antechamber below released in 2019 independently this is classic heavy metal but has enough aggression and, and complexity and emotional uh, validity and conviction to be a very strong release it's very heavy for being traditional heavy metal and darkly atmospheric in a lot of places awesome stuff molten chains into the antechamber below gets number three coming in at number two selenite with maha samati maha Samadhi, I believe I'm saying that right, released in 2019 on Seance Records. Very epic funeral doom metal. Dark, oppressive, hopeless, but not depressing in the in the depre uh, black funeral doom category. It's got its own sound, very similar to Ahab in a lot of ways, but also amazing on its own right. Very unique stuff going on here. 
Hard to describe, just go fucking listen to it. Selenite Mahasamadi gets number two. Coming in at number one, and I know a lot of people are going to ask about this band, Summoning with Minas Morgul, released in 1995 on Napalm Records. An absolute black metal fucking classic. Summoning know what they're doing. I really love this album and a few of their other releases. This is just straight up aggressive black metal. Very emotionally powerful and complex, but also very aggressive and heavy and raw, the way black metal should be. Summoning Legends, you guys all know what it is. Awesome band, Summoning Minas Morgul gets number one. All right, so there you have it, another top 15 in the books here on Music of Destruction. Hope you enjoyed the premiere tonight. If you're new, subscribe, turn on that bell so you don't miss anything. Teespring.com, teespring.com forward slash music dash of dash destruction. My girlfriend is working on making the pictures bigger for all the merch. Also going to be making up a bonfire, so that will be on the banner as well very, very soon. Going to be putting up some merch on bonfire.com as well. they got some amazing designs over there I'm going to work with. Awesome stuff. Please support the channel that way. If you'd like to also help out through Patreon, you get access to exclusive content. The Seed Episode 34, The History of the Les Legions Noir, up there, 50 minutes, one of my best episodes. Decided to do it all in one, in one piece. Five bucks a month gets you access. Patreon.com forward slash music of destruction. Colton James and myself, first movie review for Beyond the Big Screen Movie and Game Review. We're doing Alien from 1979. Really uh, appreciate it if you guys join us for our premiere on Sunday, September 5th at 12 p.m. It's going to be awesome. Make sure you head on over there and subscribe. Really appreciate that. I've plugged that channel a lot, shown enough clips. Uh, and as I'm using Vegas 17 to edit, he did all the promos in Vegas 15 and for some reason Vegas 17 doesn't like the final rendered files keeps crashing so I'm not going to include any clips thank you guys for watching hope you have an awesome night we'll see you for Metal Album Warfare Fridays cheers see you guys in the next video